My name is Caitlin. This is my presentation over the American Badger. Its scientific name is Taxodiotaxus, and it's a member of the mink family. Here's a front view of the badger and a side view. The badger lives in burrows, and it prefers to live in dry, open grasslands, fields, and pastures. They live in varying climates because of their spread out range. They can live all the way up into Canada and all the way down into Mexico. The badger is a carnivore, and their dominant prey are pocket gophers, ground squirrels, moles, marmots, prairie dogs, rats, mice, and voles. They also prey on ground nesting birds such as bank swallows and burrowing owls, and they will also attack hibernating skunks. In the wild, they can live up to 14 years, but they usually live on an average of 10. In captivity, they can live up to 26 years. The females reach sexual maturity in as little as four months, and they usually reproduce in their first year, but it takes the males two years to reach sexual maturity. They breed annually from late summer to early autumn, and they are solitary animals. They don't really interact with their own species unless it's the breeding period, and they're most active at night, and they tend to be inactive during the winter months. And for their predators, they have the predators of the golden eagle, the bobcat, the cougar, the coyote, and occasionally bears and wolves. Um, most of these predators, they aren't typical predators. They don't constantly prey on the badger because Usually the badgers are so fierce that many of them will just leave them alone and the ones that are constantly preyed upon are usually the young badgers. The badger has a range length of 20.47 to 34.45 inches and a range mass of 8.81 to 26.43 pounds and its body is short and stout and kind of has a flattened appearance appearance and its legs are short and stocky and it has paws with large claws. It burrows a lot. The coat on its back and flank ranges in color from grayish to reddish and from its chin to stomach its coat is an off-white color. Its face has two stripes and it has black pitch patches on its face. Notice how large the claws are, and you can see they're pretty dirt and dirty and dusty from all the digging. This is a picture of its skull, and it has very large developed canines for all of the animals that it eats. The animal I'm comparing it to in its family is the striped skunk. Some of the similarities are their size. The badger is a little bit bigger, but they're still very close in size. And the coat, they have some of the similar coloring. The badger is a little bit more mixed in the color, but they have some of the same coloring schemes. Um, their skull is very similar. You might not be able to tell the difference, but the badger's goes down a little bit more in the front, has more of a slant. And their paws are also similar, even though the badger's claws are much larger. Some of their differences are their coloration in the fact that the badger has some more brown tones and the skunk is primarily just black and white. Their snout is different as the badger's is more slend is more like slender and elongated. And their tail is different. The badger has a kind of short little tufty tail and the skunk has a big bushy tail. These are my work cited. My image is cited. Thank you for listening to my presentation.